I'm gonna start doing lifespan predictions of fictional characters. First up, why is my car still on? I'm idling like an idiot. Uh, first up, Spencer Shea. I'm going with 37. I was thinking more like 46, but he does a lot. He, he's always catching things on fire. He's always getting into trouble. I think he's going to die fairly young. I'll be very surprised if he makes it into his 40s. He might canonically already be in his 40s, but the new iCarly show, not canon. Not canon. Why are you breathing so much? I don't think all that breathing is necessary. I think you could cut it in half. Maybe less. Why is this? It's, it's where I've been getting him fucking high. <laughs> it's where. He's wild. It's not even hot in him. He's listening to his favorite music. Me, yammering. Two dollars to add guacamole to my goddamn tacos at Taco Bell. What is this world coming to? Two dollars for guacamole? That's like a whole avocado. YouTube's like, you wanna watch the Twilight Saga? Video essays? Um, maybe videos about the Twilight Saga? <laughs> oh, goodness. We're at the hot pot. The pot is getting hot. Mom's mad that I'm on pot. What? Are you not? What am I mad about? Me being on pot at hot pot. You are a hothead. <laughs> hot pothead at least. If you're gonna be a pothead, I'm a hothead well. and a pothead. Yeah. There was this guy in the bookstore ranting about things like he was going on a rant about Ayn Rand and he was like, never read this book. She just sucks the dick of Reagan and it just uh, he, she loves trickle down economics. Don't read this. And um, then later I walk by the couple and he's telling her about like going on this monologue about Harper Lee and like not writing to go set a watchman until forever after how to, or to kill a mockingbird. How to kill a mockingbird. Anyway, um, ranting about Harper Lee. And then fucking she just goes, oh, they have 50 shades darker. <laughs> that is a couple I'm rooting for right there. Well, guys, therapy was fucking crazy today. Hi, I'm in this place right now and I'm vlogging. Sorry, someone's pulling up next to me and they needed to be aware of my situation. Um... Weird day in therapy today. My sister FaceTimed me. I answered. Um, we used ChatGPT. I want to see if ChatGPT could give me therapy. It did okay. It did. Eh, nothing I could have given myself. Gabby's blind now. It's sad. I'm her seeing eye human. Not a very good one. She teaches me how to be chill. Oh. And the boys were just hanging out. Just got freaking violated verbally. So I don't even know which one of them it was that just got bullied. But this this gaggle of teenage girls, a gaggle of girls walking all by in the same outfit, scary already. They go, that dog looks like your dog. It's crusty. And then she goes, my dog is crusty. <laughs> you guys are not helping my case by sniffing poop for the full minute of me talking. That's all right. Oh my god, it's 8 in the morning and I'm already crying. This is why I'm locked out of my apps. I have a screen time password set. My grandma's the only one that knows the password. I accidentally forgot to relock it back up. So now, I have no screen time, so I already logged in on Instagram at 8 in the morning, which I'm not supposed to do, haven't been allowed to do in months. 
and two boys from my town followed me at the same time. And I'm like, oh shit, that's so embarrassing. That's so humiliating. Can, why did I say it like that? So I'm still not all the way awake. Like, are you kidding me? They were either watching my porn or talking about it together. That's it makes me want to throw up. It's honestly like I'm not embarrassed of what I do until shit like this happens, and then I'm just like, I don't know. I feel disgusting. Also, <laughs> one of them is my ex's little brother, so it just makes it so much more gross. Wait, wait, wait. I know one of these other boys, too. He dated my cousin, and then when they broke up, he saw me through a subway window and said that I was his dream woman and got all crazy obsessed with me. And I was like, you're fucking crazy. Oh, my God. Win for short-term memory loss. I just set up a new screen time password. I already forgot it. We're going to be fine. We're going to get through this life. <laughs> one screen time password at a time. I would highly recommend locking all your apps that you don't need. Like, I keep Duolingo unlocked in the morning so I get that done. I keep my text unlocked so I'm not worried about emergencies in my phone and stuff like that. I keep my email unlocked so I can do work. If, well, I'd never do, but I could <laughs> if I wanted to. Um, but, yeah, I would recommend, highly recommend having no soap sh in the morning. <laughs> so. Three. Three sessions of EMDR. That's all it took for me to stop having nightmares about being raped. I was having them for like over a year. And then I was like, I gotta do something about this. Did a few sessions of EMDR. I don't have nightmares about being raped anymore. I have done over one year now. Of, well, I, I've done one year now of talk therapy about Ethan. I still am having nightmares like at least weekly about this man. <laughs> He's so scary. <laughs> so do I have to do EMDR? Am I have to, gonna have to do EMDR over a fucking breakup to stop having nightmares about this man? I don't even dream about Steven this much. And Steven was like physically worse. Like <laughs> Steven would like also emotionally punish me for not having sex with him. So I was like essentially raped in that relationship too. And my dreams about Stephen, when I do dream about him, not even usually scary. Usually, at most, he is annoying me. My dreams about Ethan, I wake up in a sweat. Well, I am menopausal, but still. <laughs> There's a damn man at my house. Damn man in my house. So I'm at the river. Ah, it's so low. I'm so ready. I hope it stays low when it gets warmer and I can cross this fish. Go to that's my special reading spot. Oh, I read Travels with Charlie in Search of America there. Take that. <laughs> and that. <laughs> oh my god, that was the weakest kick ever. <laughs> oh, that's how I feel about that. And that. Oh, and that. <laughs> Bugs are awake yet. Yeah, this is so fucking boring. Look at the geese. <laughs> They're staring at me. Like I'm some fucking spectacle. You got nothing better to watch because there's no bugs on TV yet. No bugs off TV yet. I fucking hate when people plant trees this close together. Like you're not even giving them a chance to live and grow. And like what's the point of this? I guess maybe they just want the wood, but still, it's like, I don't know. Just look how they massacred my boy. This is how rich I want to be. Yes, I'm trespassing. Get over it. A bridge, solar panels, slides. Can you see the slides? Oh, yeah. This is the dream. <laughs> oh my god. I've seen this thing before on my walks, and I've always wanted to do this. Ah! This is awesome. Okay, this is my, okay, it's our boy. Okay, we need a bridge. We, okay, this is in the, oh my god. It feels so sturdy. I feel like I could really give a good job. Solar lights on the bridge. Oh, you're kidding me. Fire pit, okay. This is the most fun I've had trespassing in so long. Woohoo! 
And now I got a pocket full of their wood chips. Maybe I am taking it a bit too far now. Too late to turn around now. Now this bridge seems a little less safe. <laughs> this bridge might just bridge to dirt. Might just this bridge might just bridge to dirt. This bridge might just bridge to Terabith and this bridge might just Terabithia me out of this place. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, no, actually, this shit is sturdy as fuck. I also remember, I think I've been on this bridge before, but I started on this way, because I was up in these, up in the hills and hollers. Careful. I'm obsessed. It's like when you go on a boat and you get to see underneath the boat. Yeah, it's actually very high class, it turns out. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this. I scaled up this thing. I mean, that was not hard. It wasn't like free base rock climbing in the dark in the middle of the night in Indonesia. Ah! No, I don't actually feel like ranting about that. I just wanted to make that suck. Ugh! Rant for another day. Cool. Now this <laughs> has got to be the worst bridge of the day. Here we go. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Ooh, okay. Still scared. Oh my god, look at all the fishies. Look, I didn't even tie my shoes to do this. <laughs> We've been going raw. We've been going I can't think of what we've been going. Look at the fish. Duckies. Quack, 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 quack. If I was Mitski, I could turn this into a song. Oh, concrete mass of something in the river. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm not Mitski. I thought God hated me. I thought God wanted me dead because there's been a man in my house since 9.30 in the morning, but he finally left five minutes before Jeopardy. He's coming back at nine o'clock at night to finish because he forgot his damn tools. Oh my God. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. I should've been paying attention. Something bad happens, like a man being in my house. And I think God hates me, God wants me dead, there is no God. Then something great happens, like him leaving five minutes before Jeopardy to go get the parts. I'm like, maybe God is real, is on my side, and I'm his favorite. So that's the way that my brain works. It feels like the clouds have parted and there's a beam of light shining down on me and the angels are singing just for me. And this is, this is my life and it's perfect and it's beautiful and I would love nothing more than to sit here and watch Jeopardy. Hello. <laughs> I hate men. I hate people who can't fucking take accountability for anything. He fucking was saying to me before he left when he was talking about him forgetting his own shit. He goes, it's always something, isn't it? I said, no. And walked away. Because I can't stand this man. I can't. Because how are you going to say it's... And he, he keeps not taking responsibility. He won't take accountability for him not bringing that up. And he keeps making all these excuses and blaming the world. Like someone we know. Guess what, buddy? It's your fault. It, and it's not always something. Most of the time, my life is really great when you're not here. When you're not here bothering me, there's really almost always nothing, turns out. What the fuck? Don't touch her! Don't touch her! Anytime someone rhetorically asks like, who did this? Who could do this? Why would someone do this? You guys should tag me. I think that would be funny. Like, making lasting memories, take that man away! Anyway. Um, I think it would be funny if someone was like talking about like the slaughtering of a certain peoples or something and they could be and people are like who could do this and you just tag me. <laughs> that would be so funny. I love you. You don't love anything because you are mine. But I love you. And I don't want to get rid of you. I've been loving watching you grow. But people are coming over and it's not a good look to have mold in the fridge. But I love you. Look at this, my pinky juts way out. This is not me doing that on purpose. Look, it shakes. This is me trying to bring it in. I'm trying so hard. Okay. Oh, ah! oh my God. Please. This is 
from playing banjo. This is what they don't warn you about playing banjo. You you have fucked up hands. Oh my god, it's shit. I'm really trying. Ah, it's like arm wrestling my own finger. Oh my god, come over here. Oh my god, these are Ethan's beers. I just found these in the back of the fridge. Um, we've been broken up for over a year now. I look so good in fridge light, don't I? I always really thought that. Um. We've been working out for over a year now, and I have his goddamn beers in my fridge because I don't drink beer, and no one in my family drinks IPAs. And then, and then I realized the other day I still have his coffee, the last coffee beans that he bought because my family buys other coffee beans. I he's haunting me, and it's very upsetting. Maybe if I get rid of his things, I'll stop having nightmares about him. Johnny Gilbert, I hope they paid you well for that. And I'm so strung out, I'm high as a kite. I just might stop to check you out. I never thought I'd hear Johnny Gilbert say these things. Another amazing cover. That's Blister in the Sun by Violet Femme. I'm Johnny Gilbert. I'm that bad type. Make your mom. Oh my god. Make your girlfriend mad type. Might seduce your dad type. I'm the bad guy. Who is Billy Eilish? What the fuck? Oh my god, it's Johnny Gilbert! I'm screaming over him. Little granny smoke a little smoke. Call me back. No. Anybody catch their breath yet? This is the steep spot. Yep. Flowing up. Oh, not for free. I don't give them for free anymore. I've decided I'm going full capitalist. I did take pictures of them, and you can find them you know where. I took pictures of these two, but I look cranky in them because I have a migraine and the sun's in my eye. I need to go back down. I'm so good. It's family promo. <laughs> it is an ex promo. I see my phone like it's a fucking GoPro. <laughs> I'm like, if it gets wet, I will simply dry it. I hope y'all know I was just kidding about the Stanley thing because um, <laughs> I don't like them. They do not keep ice. They are not. They fit in no cup holder. And even like the ones that the regular Stanleys fit in with the handle, this water bottle does not fit in. And, um, doesn't keep ice, impractical, doesn't come in cute colors, um, so I only got it because I lost my other water bottle and they said it was made of recycled steel, so I was like, okay. Hey girl, hey girl, hey girl. This is Bear Grylls, I'm in the wilderness, it's raining, it was nice when it was raining when I was in hot water, not so nice out here. We're gonna make it though. <laughs> Close, burst of lightning, steel, Stanley, scared, Lex. Hailing, it's literally fucking hailing. You could really say I put my phone through hail today. Oh my, lightning, lightning! That one was not close though. Oh yeah, see there's the sunset. That one was not bad. I did not have to chuck my Stanley across the desert. Turns out, shut up, I'm talking. Turns out, being in a hailstorm will undo every ounce of help that warm hot spring water does for you. Hailstorm undoes it all. This is the Dow. You go to the hot pools to soak your muscles. Your muscles feel better. Suddenly you're not in a flare up anymore. Then on the way down, the hail happens and you're flaring again. I look like I'm sweating buckets. It's, it's melted hail. See, this is why you stay as close to the middle of the pendulum as possible because it always swings back. Oh my god, I sound like Steven. I'm just kidding. I take it all back. I take everything I said back about the Dow. It makes bad me choice. happy. No, things that make you happy are not bad choices. We've had this discussion. It's temporary so many happiness. times. Temporary happiness is just as important as permanent because there will never be permanent happiness. So, the temporary. Dow swings back. 
Yeah. But you should still search out temporary happiness because then it makes you even more thankful when you get it instead of just waiting for it. Because then you work or for it. You could just be happy and sad at the same time, be perfectly aligned with every single. I wanna be happy! In the universe. No! Happiness is the prequel to suffering. Nope. Sad. Nope. <laughs> suffering is the prequel to happiness. That's just as true. And also, they're the same thing. They're just. No, they're not the everything. same thing. Yep, everything's just no, a doubt. No, they're not. They're not. They're not. Yep. They're not. It doesn't make a difference. They're not. And phones can't be used for just good. Just be as close to the middle as you can. You'll be perfect. No, I'm going to be as close to the happy side as I can. And if I end up in the middle, so what? But I'm going to try to See what I mean, people? See what I mean? We had this discussion way too many fucking times already. We have this the discussion this every side, day. Though. Maybe it's good for me, though, right? The hot and cold. That's a thing. Hot and cold alternation. Maybe it's actually good for my muscles, even though they feel like they're about to escape my body. Like they've been on the lookout for a more suitable host, but now they've given up and they're just gonna jump into the next one they find. Antelope, antelope. Find my stash, light it up, memory crash. Oh no, oh no.